Hello YouTube. Today we're making apple craisin bread pudding. You wouldn't necessarily have to use apples. You could substitute pears. Uh, you could substitute raisins, dried cranberries, dried pineapple, any type of dried fruit that you like. You're going to take four cups of cut up bread cubes. I place mine in the oven on convection about 450 degrees for five minutes and took them out and tossed them a little bit and then added them back to the oven to get them crisp. Uh, some people like to leave them out overnight and let them harden up on their own. You'll toast those and while you're toasting those you're going to slice your apple and you're going to want to slice it pretty thin. I used a Granny Smith apple. When I got through slicing my apple I added a tablespoon of lemon juice, mixed that all up with the apple to keep it from turning brown. Then in a small bowl I added two heaping tablespoons of brown sugar with a teaspoon, I'm sorry, yeah, a teaspoon of cinnamon. I used the Ceylon cinnamon, mixed that all together, poured that over the apple, mixed it all up to coat the outside of the apple, and then I added my half a cup of craisins to that and mixed that all up. For your liquid, you're going to need a can of evaporated milk, plus after you dump that out you're going to fill the can halfway and add uh, just regular milk to that, half a cup of brown sugar, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring or vanilla extract preferably, three tablespoons of butter, three eggs and two tablespoons of flour. You're going to throw that all in a bowl and mix it well. You're going to take a springform pan. I used an 80 inch. Spray it with Pam or some kind of nonstick spray. Add your breadcrumbs to that and then add your apples in there and mix that all up well. Make sure your apples aren't stuck together. And then pour the liquid over it. Let it soak up for about five minutes and then stir it Kind of, you can kind of smash it down a little bit to make sure the liquid is coated all the bread. Then you're going to place it in the instant pot, and you'll want to put a tent of tin foil over the bread pudding so it cannot just all of that steam from the instant pot just come on top of the bread pudding and make it too wet. So after you've tinted it, place it in the instant pot, and you're going to put it on high pressure for 20 minutes. You'll do a quick release when it's done. And while it's hot, if you want to add a salted caramel topping, I have a real quick, easy uh, topping that you can use. Take seven caramel squares, a little candy caramels, a quarter cup of milk. Place those in a heat proof container in the microwave and heat it in 30 to 45 minute intervals, stirring it till it's all melted. Then add a quarter teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring. And then when your, when your bread pudding comes out of the instant pot, you'll pour this all over the top of the bread pudding while it's hot. Hope you enjoyed the recipe. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you like our channel, then subscribe and you'll get notifications when we post new videos. This is The Pressured Prepper, and I'm out.